also had a fairly long relationship with an oil company, and that was a very interesting partnership because in that case, they were interested in the biofuels industry, as you might imagine, and the goal was to identify whether or not the cells we were engineering could make a specific molecule based on functionality. So we know, for example, that ethanol is a very popular biofuel, but it also has some limitations in terms of how it can be used in different transportation markets. So the idea here was to say, here's what we think a molecule should look like that will have the properties of a fuel that we're interested in, and can we see if we can identify efficient biological routes to be able to produce this using a microorganism. So that was actually very helpful and instructive because it was a lot of uh, constant communication and dialogue to really understand the balance between the economic needs of a process and the functional needs of a product. And we really found that to be beneficial to be able to have this dialogue and the input and the experience of the people who were working in industry to really commercialize new products who had it, and who also had a very large and robust existing business to help us to understand how these products might apply. We have a lot of hopes for all the work that we do here at MIT and for the work that we do in our lab. We're hopeful that if our technology is really successful that we can expand not just the number of products that we make but the scale at which we make them in a way that we can significantly reduce our dependence on fossil inputs for the chemicals that we require and that we can also have very significant impacts, positive impacts on the environment. We really want to think about being able to have now a better relationship with nature if we want to think of it in those terms such that we can recycle more of the carbon that goes up in the atmosphere as CO2 by bringing that back down into plant biomass and then converting it into things that are useful. We recognize at the same time though that it's important to do this in a way that's very responsible and so we're very receptive to having discussions and participating in a broader community that looks at the environmental impacts for example how to be able to more reliably and responsibly produce biomass in a way that doesn't put additional burdens on fresh water supply for example. These are all issues that we don't work with directly, but which we know are very much influenced by the work that we do and vice versa. And so what, one of the nice things about being at a place like MIT and having access to ILP is the opportunity to be able to get these inputs from a variety of different sources to really understand how what we do in our small space has a lot of interactions and a lot of influences on and by the rest of the ecosystem that surrounds it. I actually spent time in industry before I became a faculty member at MIT. I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for four years and that experience has really influenced the way I think about both the work that I do and how we interact with industry. It's made me much more aware of the fact that there are some gaps between how academic research is conducted and how development and commercialization has to proceed. But it's also made me aware of that the fact that there are many opportunities to be able to work together with industry to be able to bring new products and new processes to market. I think industry academic relationships work best when it's clear up front what the nature of the relationship will be and what the objectives are. And there needs to be an understanding of the fact that as academics we're really very much focused on fundamental research and understanding basic principles, but we're also very much excited about the potential to have those findings and that research translated into something that does show up in the marketplace. And so I think being able to have a conversation or a relationship or in a dialogue with industry in which there's an opportunity for constant feedback and integration of ideas is really when it works best. Those relationships can be extremely valuable for our students and our postdocs because it gives them an insight into what happens after that technology leaves an academic research environment. And it gives them some sense in many ways as to what their future careers could look like if they actually wanted to engage in an industrial environment as well.